your neighbors coming home. All right, welcome back everybody. So Duchess Tiger, which we're passing her home enclosure right now on Tiger Lake. And there is Tiger Lake. We gotta go all the way to the other end of the sanctuary. You can see in front of me the little train of helpers. Um, we are pulling the transport cage because Duchess Tiger is gonna come home from her month long vacation rotation. That's a two and a half acre vacation rotation um, where the cats rotate, basically the tigers at this point, rotate out there for a month at a time. So Priya had to slide back over into her home enclosure and Simba Tiger's chase in the transport. That's interesting. He's not running from it, he's chasing it. <laughs> Which is very interesting. He's like, I wanna go, but he can go via tunnel. He doesn't have to go in the transport. The reason Duchess Tiger has to go in a transport is because she is so far up front that there's no way for us to connect to the above ground tunnels. Hi, baby. Here's Kali Tiger. So my first live of the day was just a few minutes ago when we brought Jinx, our black leopard, home from the Funcation enclosure. There are many videos out there that explain and show you guys what funcation and vacation rotation are. So if you don't know, I'm sure people in the comments can help you out or you can go find some of those videos on our YouTube um, channels, bigcattv.com or dailybigcat.com. We do this pretty much every two weeks to once a month. So there are tons of lives of me just explaining the process of why we do this and how we do this. And hopefully today I'll also get to do some home tours in both of those. And then Sapphire Tiger lives in this enclosure. She's sneaking around over there, chasing the transport. So Sapphire should be the next one to go. There she's running the opposite direction. She should be the next one to go on um, vacation, but she'll also go via tunnel system. And then while she's out there, we'll be cleaning up her home enclosure. So it's always something to do, so much activity. Lots of helpers because those transport cages are thousands of pounds. So we need lots of people to help push. Hi, baby. So this is Duchess. Duchess Tiger is currently in the roof section. There's a roof section and a very large open air section. She's in the roof section for right now because that's where we're gonna transfer her out of. She's very excited. She's on her feeding lockout too. So she's actually got her breakfast right here. So it looks like a big turkey drum and some big pieces of beef. So that's how they're gonna, oh, that's how they're gonna help entice her. I am so worried. My stabilizer has started not working again. And I'm down to my last one. <laughs> I've had multiple backups. Hang with me for a second. But starting in Running Bear's procedure, it started just not, started not working. It's charged. Yep, looks like my stabilizer is shot, guys. I'm sorry about that. That means these are gonna be a lot bumpier than normal, but we'll still film it. Yeah, 
that's gonna be a problem. <laughs> Come, on. Come on, babe. You're such a good girl. You're yeah. Good. We gotta shift you away. One more section. So the reason that they're shifting her one more section away, she's got one door down and two doors down. So it looks like we're gonna get her. Looks like we're gonna get her out of the big section instead of the roof section. So that'll be new and different. Let's see how that goes. Yeah, the only downfall to the stabilizer not working is now I have no hands. Normally I have one hand I can do things with. <laughs> now I have to hold the stabilizer that's not working plus the camera. you guys watched when the Guatemala boys arrived, this is how we unloaded Simba into Funcation. So we're gonna stay kind of on this side because she'll leave this roof section here and hopefully she'll just make the turn and she'll come right on over and hop into that transport and then we'll be heading back to see her go home. That's going to make driving impossible so let me see <laughs> if this thing will start up again. That or you guys will have to bear with me while I pull it out of the stabilizer which is not going to be pretty. Elizabeth, as I mentioned earlier, um, there are no tunnels uh, long enough for Duchess to use the tunnel system to go home. So she has to use the transport. She's the only one that will. Priya will not load up in a transport, which is why she no longer comes out to vacation. But she has such a large enclosure already that when Duchess is gone, she gets a staycation because we let her have access to um, Duchess's side as well. <laughs> are you excited? Go home and see Priya. I know you like it out here, but I think you're gonna really be happy going home too. Yeah, you're gonna be happy going home too. You're so sweet. I love that she comes out here, but I also miss her because when she's in vacation, she is always out of sight. And so when she's in her home enclosure, every single time I drive by, I get to see her beautiful face. Thank you very much, Linda, for the donation. This will probably be the last live um, for a little bit because what we'll have to do after we unload her at home is there will be a lot of mowing and weed whacking all over property. <laughs> so chuffy, happiest girl, happiest girl. Oh, Jeffy. <laughs> so they have to secure the transport. Yes, they have to secure the transport over on the side of the enclosure before they can open her up. <laughs> you could get a closer look over there. I know. 
I know. All right, bear with me real quick. I'm gonna see if I can pull my phone out of the stabilizer. Oh, thank you, Brenda, for the donation. All right, that way, when we get back on my cart, I can actually drive. <laughs> so, sorry guys, it'll be shaky. So she has to go through this section and then Lauren will open this other door. Get around her den here. Hopefully she's just gonna walk and turn that corner and go right into the transport. Let's go home. Good job. All right, so they're gonna just have to hook her up to the back of Jamie's cart. Her transport's locked. Of course, we're also gonna have to unlock vacation because we're gonna have to come out here and mow and weed eat, and it takes quite a while to do that. So it'll be later today before we'd be moving anyone out. And as I say, the plan is to move Sapphire out here and Manny will go um, to a funcation, but that's weather permitting. Because we got to get all the maintenance stuff done first. downfall to holding it like this is I can't read your comments because my hand is in the way. <laughs> oh boy guys, this is not what I needed today. I don't know if I'll be able to film the home tours either because I can't do that handheld. We'll figure it out though. You heard them talking about the shirts. We're always every day is just like I don't know what to expect now but we'll figure it out. All right. So we're gonna take, here we go, I moved my hand, now I can see a little bit better. So we're gonna take a different route than them and we'll meet them at the crossroad. So if you guys have just joined in earlier this morning, we moved Jinx home from Funcation. It's gonna get all spruced up and then the plan is for Manny to go out there for the next month. And then you just watch Duchess Tiger load up at vacation 
We are taking her home, which is right across the lake here. And then once we get that one all spruced up, it'll be Miss Sapphire. And Sapphire will actually go through that door that she's at right there. She might already know it's time. She'll have to cut through Jasmine's enclosure. And then she'll use the tunnel system to get out to vacation. But it's Florida and it's June, so it's storm season, which means that by the afternoon we could be expecting storms, which means I won't be filming and we may not move cats, so just have to play it by ear. I think they're coming this way. Nope, they're going the long way. Okay, on around. You can already hear the weed whacking in the background. <laughs> I used to always tell everybody, oh, it's Thursday. It's the only day of the week that we're closed to the public. So we do all of our maintenance and all of our kind of loud stuff like mowing and weed whacking on Thursdays. But now we are just closed in general. We closed March 16th in precaution of COVID-19. And as of right now, we have no plans of opening anytime soon. So now we can do this kind of maintenance stuff constantly. So the sanctuary's actually never looked better. <laughs> yes, it is. <laughs> the queen. So everybody helping today, that was Jamie, who's driving Duchess. Afton and Aaron are our operations managers, and they have intern Jordan with them. This last cart here is our coordinator, Lauren Grant, and new yet old volunteer Barbara. Um, Barbara actually used to be a master keeper and has been here for many 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 years um, but about four or five years ago had to um, I think she had a back surgery I believe and was gone for quite a while but now she's back and she's starting from the beginning and we're so excited that she's back. cleaners are out cleaning so my husband Mark was out cleaning Jinx making sure that he had all new fresh water since he just came home and then there's intern Fred who is cleaning Duchess this is her home enclosure we're just gonna pull over right here I always love when they put one of my photos on their enclosures. Oh, so Tori. exciting. There's Miss Lady. This is her home enclosure. Let's walk around the corner here. Duchess. You guys know that Duchess was one of our witness protection cats for over four years here such an amazing day when we finally got to share her with the world. Are you excited to be home, lady? I think you are going to be very happy. You get to see what Priya did in your enclosure while you were gone. Are you excited? You gonna see what Priya did to your enclosure? So we just have to double check that everything is put back in its place because that area where you see Jamie was all opened up in order for Priya to be able to go back and forth between the two enclosures. Now that Duchess is coming home, Priya is currently in this den right here in front of us because we need her to stay away from that side fence area there. Are you home, babe? Yeah. Transport wires are a little small you hear yeah you hear your friend oh there she is she's home she's home 
You guys going to spend the next two weeks chasing each other? Look at her just staring like, do I know you? Yeah, I think I know you. she come out to say hi to you? Meow. Hi. They're trying to secure Priya, but Sounds like all kinds of drama coming from Afton. <laughs> we, uh, we put metal poles in doors so that there's no way that a cat could lift a door. You are so chill, lady. You're just so chill. Yes, you are. You're very chill. You are such a perfect tiger. Perfect tiger girl. Sounded like there were fire ants involved <laughs> in that trauma. <laughs> Simple things can sound <laughs> very overwhelming though from her. She's always so full of energy. Let's go see. Let's get a close up of Priya. Whoa, whoa, whoa. It's just your old neighbor. Same lady. Same lady, just post vacation. Just taking our time because we've got to make sure that. Got to make sure that we've got everything properly situated. Oh, I hear ya. This is a tough one to usually push the transport in. Yeah. It's kind of a tight squeeze. Thank you very much to the five people that have donated and everybody who donated in our first live with Jinx earlier. <laughs> She's chopping at you. Are you going to chop back? Thanks, Beth, for the donation. I know as soon as she's in there, then your doors will open too. Don't worry. Thanks, Miriam, for the donation. Just gotta make sure everything's ready. I know. Yeah. Okay. 
Touch us is just like, whatever, lady. I hear ya. I know. We're just waiting, making sure everything's safe. Each door has to have certain amounts of clips and locks on them. That's all for you. So they have to add a clip gate to the bottom to make sure that there's no gap between the transport and the enclosure. Yep, it died. It started dying, I think, during Running Bear's procedure, and it's never acted right since. So, oh, no. no more stabilizer, yay! <laughs> Which really limits a lot of things I needed to do. <laughs> so, yay! Okay. Yeah, yeah. Oh yeah, I told everyone like. Go ahead and take your nausea pills because the rest of the day is handheld. <laughs> yeah. You guys will have to probably go on the inside. Yep. So we're still going to have to put the ratchet strap back on to hold the cage to the side of the enclosure. Yeah, uh, Afton's the operations manager, so it's her job to make sure all of those things are checked on moving day.
Now the tricky part is closing the doors behind her. Let's go all the way around here. Yeah. So she's going to get breakfast now, which will be right here in her feeding lockout. But they have to get her back now because now she's officially home which means she's already ready to remark everything. You can watch at bigcatcams.com. She's gonna have lots to check out because Priya was over here while she was gone. So she's already way down there, the fence line in the lake. So Erin's got her food. She is 100% preoccupied. But at least she is staying far away from the keepers who are working on relocking her doors and pulling the transport cage away. She'll eventually be like, oh yeah, I didn't have breakfast. Let's do that. She's getting some water down there. So again, bigcatcams.com is where you can watch her and Priya 24-7 on our Explore cameras. If you came in late or you want to rewatch this so you can truly see the process of how we transported um, her from vacation back to her home enclosure, you can go to dailybigcat.com. Thank you, Judy, for the donation. 100% of your guys' donations does go to the care of the cats, so we really, really appreciate that. With us being closed to the public for tours, it's really, really important that we make up that money for them in a different way. So trying to bring everything to you guys virtually is what we're trying to do. So I'm hoping that I'll have a stabilizer that works. I'll go charge it and see if that makes a difference. We're going to mow and weed whack and do all kinds of projects for the rest of the day. And then weather permitting, the plan should be to move Manny to Funcation and Sapphire, our white tiger, out to vacation rotation. If for some reason I can't film that, or again, the weather or something, bigcatcams.com has our vacation rotation camera on it as well. So if you see a silly white tiger show up there later, that's Sapphire. Thank you guys very much for all the donations from uh, Jinx earlier and now Duchess. I really appreciate everybody who helped in the comments. Everybody who uh, shares this, sharing is caring. That is definitely how you guys can help spread the word, educate the public about what we do here at Big Cat Rescue. She's heading to the den. The den we all know Priya very much enjoyed while she was gone. <laughs> so it looks like Priya is now getting access to the rest of her enclosure now that everything's safely finished with Duchess. So if you go and watch their Tiger Lake cameras, you might see some fun antics. And I hope to see you guys later. If I don't, have a great weekend, everybody. Take care, stay safe, be kind to each other. And I'll see you guys soon.